Team of the Season is finally here. If you're looking to get yourself any coins from the best supplier in town, check out my sponsor, FIFACoinZone.com, and use the code HABER to get yourself 5% off. What's up, lads? Welcome back to a brand new episode of I Rate Your Teams. Today, we're going to be rating nine teams that I've picked from Twitter. If you want to be featured in the next episode, it's very simple. Take a screenshot directly from your console, whether you be on Xbox or PlayStation, or if you seem to have an Elgato, then do it from there. It has to be a screenshot that is perfect 1080p quality and it cannot be from your phone it cannot be on the app there is links down below for you guys to get a, a tutorial on how to do it from your consoles tweet it to me using the hashtag it's Haber and give me a brief description of your team how many coins have you got who's untradeable who can you sell and and basically just give me a brief description of your team i will then rate it in the video and give you guys some feedback now the comment from last video i want to feature is one from logan coffee who said get the new Valencia instead of Dumfries? I thought that was pretty decent advice from my team. Uh, that Valencia looks like a really solid card. I've got his loan in the minute and I've got a few days left to complete it. So I am debating with myself completing it. I'm trying out his loan to see if I do want to complete it or not. Dumfries has got a special place in my heart though. Now, if you want to be featured on screen in the next episode, all you have to do is comment down below your best weekend league finish. The amount of wins for me is 28 and 2. Let me know down below what your best weekend league finish is. Let's get into the squads. Now, team one is from Jerome Beck on Twitter. Now, he says, David De Gea, Neymar, Ben Yedda are tradable. The rest are untradable. He's got 1 million coins to spend, and he plays the 4 one 2 one 2 brackets too. He also left a compliment in there saying that my content's great. I appreciate you, Jerome. So, looking at this team, I'm guessing with a 4 one 2 one 2 narrow, you're playing uh, Casemiro at CDM. You're playing Balak as a centre mid. You're playing De Jong as either centre mid. Uh, probably Neymar at Cam, and then Ben Yedda and, uh, and Werner up top. And I think it's a decent team, considering only De Gea, uh, Neymar, and Ben Yedda are tradable with a million coins to spend i think you've got a lot of room for improvement the first thing i'd probably do is replace soul campbell i wasn't a fan of soul campbell i would probably use maybe a prime hiero and the reason i say that is because it gets De Gea on full chemistry i think either hiero or prime moments puyol is a very good option for you to then get rid of uh soul campbell maybe in an sbc um and then you can use uh one that gets both the hair on full chemistry and is a lot better than uh, than campbell uh, i think that puyol looks like a really good card you've already got the aggressive pace of of delict so i think that using a card like i don't know like a puyol who's maybe a bit slower but better defensively and better in the air is probably uh, uh, going to be, be uh, beneficial to your squad. Apart from that, there's not a fat lot I'd change to be honest. Um, I'm liking the strike partnership of Werner, and I'm liking I'm liking um, Ben Yedda up top. Uh, if you can upgrade to a better version of Neymar, I would do that. Apart from that, wait until uh, you know team of season area division comes out. Maybe upgrade your Delict and Dumfries. Maybe upgrade your De Jong. Um, I, I'm not the world's biggest fan of Casemiro. I don't think he's that amazing. If you can sell Casemiro and maybe get like a prime icon Roy Keane in there, if you've got enough left over to spend. I would personally do something like that. That would also allow you to free up the, the funds of Ben Yedda uh, and put Carlos Tevez up top if that's an option you want to pursue. Um, I'm a big fan of Carlos Tevez. That flashback card is a really nice card in game. So I would personally look to maybe use that Carlos Tevez at striker with... Uh, Werner and then you've got a few coins freed up by selling Ben Yedda to then invest in maybe a prime icon Roy Keane it also helps with chemistry you'd have a full chem Roy Keane uh, Tevez would be on full chemistry as well obviously and I think that would just help out a little bit so that's personally what I would change for your squad apart from that it's a really really nice squad I like the, the subs you've got you've got a decent sub bench um, now I'm I asked for these squads most of these squads are uh, pre team of the season um, I asked for these squads last week obviously now it's currently uh, Monday morning I'm recording this so there might be when you're watching this more players out that would fit perfectly in the team that i don't know about so let me know down below if there's different players that fit in different positions and what would you you would do with the squad obviously i'd love to hear your opinions the next team is from steve and steve's team is fully untradeable except for roy Keane. he didn't say how many coins he had but i'm guessing he's probably got maybe a couple hundred k to spend looking at the squad uh what i would say in terms of your squad the only thing i would change personally is richarlison at right mid i would look to potentially you don't have a lucas i'd maybe use either the Rashford at centre mid off chemistry. Oh, you do have Lucas. Lucas is a decent right mid, actually. I would either use uh, play of the month Lucas. I rate him higher than Richarlison. I would either use uh, that Sterling off chemistry or Rashford off chemistry or maybe your Felipe Anderson off chemistry. I'm seeing a theme that you've got a lot of left mids that are really decent, but you don't really have the right mids in the team, which sucks. So I would personally look to probably upgrade that right mid. If you have coins, maybe look to get a decent version of Willian. Maybe look to get a decent version of, um, I don't know, maybe look to get maybe a, a George Best, like a, if you've got enough coins for George Best, I personally go for a George Best. 
but I'd say your main priority there is looking for a better right mid. Aside from that, I think your team is really well balanced. It's a very nice team indeed. I'm a big fan of your team. Um, I wouldn't change anything else aside from what I've mentioned. Um, and, you know, I'm, I'm guessing you do pretty well in foot jumps because you've got a decent amount of reds in there. Like you've got Philippe Anderson and Richarlison, both quite high rated. Um, and you've just got a nice team. You seem to know what you're doing in terms of balancing your team. So I rate it highly. The next team is from Carl Seymour. And he says he's got not many coins spare. He plays a 4 1 2 1 2 wide with Naldo CDM, Rui Costa right mid, Perez left mid, and Hazard Cam. That seems interesting to me. I would personally straight, straight away swap Hazard and Perez and Rui Costa. Rui Costa at right mid doesn't seem like it'd be very effective at all. Uh, I would personally use Costa at Cam and Hazard at right mid. Um, then you've got the pace and the amazing crossing of Hazard to whip it into Cliver and, and Ibra. So I see you've got two very tall, decent jumping uh, strikers there. So uh, you've got the you've got the headers on lock. Basically, you ain't gonna you ain't gonna lose out on a header. Uh, next of all, I would probably replace your right back with Milinkovic Savic. Even as a right back, Milinkovic Savic is solid. And if you don't have the coins to upgrade, he's a very decent option to use. Um, I'm interested to see what your thoughts are on that Hulk as well, because that Hulk looks pretty good to me, but I've heard bad things about him, so maybe he's not amazing. Aside from that, I can't really see much that I would change. Um, it's a decent team. I mean, you've got Baresi, and apparently Baresi's decent, but he's very, very short. You don't seem to have any decent centre-backs that you can swap with him, so obviously you don't have much of a choice, and he works with chemistry. But if you can work towards a higher icon, maybe like a, if you if you can, maybe a Desai. Um, we're bringing out Desai again, I know. But if you can work towards a Desai or someone like that um, and eventually grind up towards him, I think that that would be a great addition to your squad. It'd help you out defensively a lot. Aside from that, I'm a big fan of your team. Uh, I, I do like the players you're using. Um, and that Naldo card is one card that is very good. And I'm very upset I didn't go for him because he was incredible against me in several different games. I'm seeing a Thiago Silva there as well that I haven't actually played against this year. So that's pretty interesting. It's a nice little change of a, of a meta squad. It's not so meta. It's more of like, I don't know. It's more fun. It's more funky. I like it. So... I'd make the changes I've previously mentioned. Uh, apart from that, keep doing you. It's a nice team. And uh, and let me know how you get on with the team. Next up, we've got Carl Hotson's team. And he says, rate my team, all untradeable, 100k spare, completing Vieira SBC next. That's all untradeable. That is all untradeable. You have once to watch Ronaldo. Untradeable. Really? That I'm jealous. I'm very jealous. That is an incredible team. That is an incredible team. I can't see a lot that I would change. Obviously, Vieira bringing in is going to be fantastic for your squad, but it's just an incredible team. I don't really know what formation you're using in-game. I'd guess maybe a 4-2-3-1 using possibly Cancelo and 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 George uh, George and Gerard at CDM, and then you're using maybe Rooney, Rashford, and Del Piero with Ronaldo up top. I can see that being a possibility that you're using. Um, Rooney doesn't seem that amazing for me. I, I'd say maybe move Rashford into uh, middle centre mid and then go for like a, a Premier League player. Maybe you go for like, uh, I'm not entirely sure. Maybe you go for uh, maybe De Bruyne or whatnot. Um, or maybe you move Gerald into the middle and then use De Bruyne at less CDM so that you get full chemistry. I would personally look to do something like that. I see you got Juan Mata in there might be decent. Um, Jamie Vardy in there as well on the bench. You got some decent players on the bench. Uh, aside from that, I can't see anything wrong with your team. That Bobby Moore apparently is very good in game as well. A lot of people use him at CDM though. So that's interesting that you're using him at centre back. I can't see you making any changes unless maybe you bring on Sol Campbell can't see you doing that this is what i mean boys i need like more in-depth sort of information to your squad i just need like a description of your squad it'd be dope to know what you play in game and whatnot so i'm liking the team though i wouldn't change i wouldn't change much and the fact that's all untradeable is very impressive so gg to you hats off the next one is from baran and he has 200 000 coins to work with he said he wants to use ibra but doesn't want to use vela i see the vela on his bench there um he said, should he make Valencia and use him on 8 chemistry? Who should he upgrade? I would not do Valencia if I were you. I'd keep Florenzi. I think that you've got a really nice solid right side there. What I would personally do to upgrade your squad straight away is I would I would sacrifice Ibrahimovic starting. That's what I would do. I would sacrifice Ibrahimovic starting and bring him on at some point. I would start possibly Arnautovic to get yourself the chemistry with Sterling and Arnautovic um, at the minute you're not getting the chem. Or maybe you start Vela and then you swap Vela off for Sterling. At the minute, you've got to, you've got to make a substitution. You have like you unfortunately like you've got to make a sacrifice and make a sub. 
um otherwise you're, you're just going to struggle and that that sucks but that's just life unfortunately sometimes you just get stuck in those situations um and i would personally either make a sub of vela i think vela is probably the better option to bring off vela for somebody else i see you've got like a depai there who play really well at like a right wing i say moximin as well or maximin um you've got I forget the guy's name, the Belgian left mid, and I forget his name, unfortunately. Um, so you've got a few really nice players that you can bring on. So I would personally sub a player off. When you sub a player off, they play to their base card stats usually because they're on 6.25 chemistry, as far as I'm aware, but it might be 5.5. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's 6.25. Um, so he's not actually playing that poorly. Uh, and obviously, super subs do make a pretty good impact. I like the Stoichkov you got in there. Um, with 200k, though... You can't do much with the squad for 200k, which is unfortunate. Um, you could you could look to... Here's what you could do, all right? You could look to craft Valencia. You could have him at right back on 8 chemistry and then play St. Maximin and M. Dombele. That would be a good shout, if you ask me. But I'm a little bit torn because the issue is you're at that point, which I hate. This is the point I hate, where you have coins, but you don't have enough coins to make the big upgrade you need, like an icon at right wing, but you don't have too little coins where you've just got to slug it out. You know, you can make changes and work towards a better player, but it's going to take a bit of time. And that's the point that I hate. So if I were you, the best thing you could possibly do is get a different right back. Um, maybe even if you go for a Munier, you start a Munier for a little while. You just get a normal Munier at right back because he gets chemistry. Um, and then you go then Dombele at centre mid and then you go with St. Maximin at, at right wing. That to me sounds like a pretty good option and it get everyone apart from Ebro on full chemistry. So I would personally go for something like that. Okay, the next squad is from Alex Watkins and he says everybody except for Vardy, Sterling, Casemiro and Malcolm are untradeable. So he's got... The, the price of Sterling, Vardy, Casemiro, and Malcolm to work with. Um, it's interesting. He's got 30,000 coins in the bank as well. It's a decent squad, but Malcolm, in my opinion, is not good enough. Casemiro is not good enough. To an extent, the 92 Suarez probably isn't good enough, but I mean, he can get away with it. Uh, I think that Star Sterling and Vardy are decent. If I were you, I would probably go for a rehaul of the squad. I would personally get re I'd drop Casemiro and bring in that Aaron Ramsey you got on the bench. Uh, I then possibly go with, you see, mm, yeah, I would, I would, I'd do that. I then possibly go with a striker, a, a better Premier League striker. Maybe he can go with like a Lukaku, someone that's going to win a lot of headers, a big brute player. Maybe your Bamiang as well. Bamiang's dropped a lot in price recently. Um, and then at right mid, you've got Carvajal there, and I'm guessing he's untradeable. You could play Carvajal on eight chemistry and then get a better right winger or a right mid. Uh, maybe you get like a Mares. Maybe you get like a. You can get anyone at right mid, really. That, that would work. There's not really a whole lot of Spanish right mids. Uh, I don't think Delefeu's got a special right mid card. He might, but I don't think he has. Um, so I would personally go with... I'd personally go with a Bamiang at striker, Ramsey at centre mid. I mean, you could go... You could, if you've got enough coins, if you sell Malcolm and Casemiro, um, you might be able to stretch to Bale at right mid. You probably won't be able to. So maybe you start off using a, a La Liga Spanish right mid. But if you can stretch to Bale, that might be... Uh, very good for your squad. I think that could help. Um, apart from that, I like what you're doing at the back. I actually rate Aspilicueta this year as well. Petacek's very weird because Petacek has this weird trait where he gets out of the out of the goal for crosses, where he comes out for crosses, where you don't press anything, and he comes out to meet crosses. That is a poor trait. I don't like it at all uh, because it's very difficult. Like he makes really silly mistakes. But if you like Petacek. Then, then you'll enjoy it, you know, you'll enjoy better check. So apart from that, I'm liking your bench. You've got a really good selection of sub players. Um, so I would personally just make the changes that I've said and, uh, and, and, and try and grind towards possibly getting an icon at right mid. Obviously, you haven't got enough coins now, but if you can maybe sell Sterling and use someone a little bit less at left mid, maybe like a Felipe Anderson at left mid, um, and then you grind towards an icon, that might be more beneficial to your squad than having the informed Sterling. But then again, you could be a big Man City fan, that is, that is completely up to you at this point. I'm just making suggestions. The next team is from GG Benny, who literally gave me no description. Boys, I need descriptions of your teams. Please, I need to know. You've got a red Messi, which I'm incredibly jealous of. You've got that flashback Vidal, which is an incredible card. You've got uh, Prime Balak, which I regret. I used Prime Balak in SBC. I think it was the Vieira SBC. I love Vieira, but I did really enjoy Balak. So I kind of wish I kept Balak. And I wish I'd, I'd submitted George Best and used Balak and, and Socrates at Cam. But, you know, sometimes you make mistakes. I don't see any weak links in your squad, truthfully. I don't see a single weak link in your squad. I wouldn't change anything. And I'm guessing this team's working well for you because your team name is Love Me EA. So you probably finished quite well in champs and you probably get unlucky. 
I can't see a single uh, flaw in your squad, though. I can't see anything wrong with it. You know, I really like this squad. I think it's a fantastic squad. I wouldn't change a thing. I'd keep it as it is and maybe just try and upgrade players. Maybe you go for, like, a better version of Ronaldo if you can or a team of the season Cancelo when he comes out or a team of the season Robertson when he comes out. Uh, or maybe you go with, like, a team of the season Laporte when he comes out, a centre-back. Or if you can afford it, a player of the year, Van Dijk or something. I don't know. You know, go for something like that. Aside from that, apart from just upgrading the squad, it's a nice squad, bro. It's a really nice squad. And I feel like you just want, you just want to flex on me at this point you know i feel like this is just a little flex <laughs> it's a nice squad though bro the next team is from uh joshan vicaria i don't know if you pronounce that right i apologize it said only Mane, pogba gattuso virgil van dyke and de gea are tradable so you've got maybe like five to six hundred k if on a good day um oh it's an informed one like i didn't even notice it was in form you've got maybe like 800k to work with something like that like from all your tradable players that's the vibe i'm getting um in terms of in terms of this, what would I say? Um, there's not too much. I mean, Katuso, in my opinion, is quite a weak card. I would look to upgrade it, possibly. Uh, Mane is a special card as well. You seem like you might be a Liverpool fan, obviously, with all the special Liverpool cards. Uh, I would personally go for a little bit lesser version of Mane, free up some coins, and then sell Gattuso and get a better like centre mid slash CDM. Roy Keane is a fantastic fantastic option. I can't even speak. Balak is a fantastic option as well. Um, Middle Vieira is a great option if you've got the coins for that. Aside from that, um, a few minor upgrades here or there. Like, obviously, like maybe if you can interchange Nesta for a better centre-back, that might be a good option. Working towards an Icon SBC, grinding towards one of those might be a great option. I like how you got playing them with Aguero. It's a very different card. You don't really see it too often. So I would personally just straight away, I'd go for maybe normal Mane or go for like an inform Felipe Anderson at left, left wing and then try and get yourself like a prime Roy Keane at centre mid. That's probably the best option in my opinion. Aside from that, it's a very nice squad, bro. I really like it. And uh, I like how everyone's got an untradeable Messi somehow. <laughs> and the last team is from Finn. No message from the tweet. And his play his team name is just insulting me. You're paid to win. Thank you very much, Finn. I really appreciate it. No, it's a nice team. Um, don't know how many coins you got. I'm guessing you have quite a few coins because you've got a decent team. Um, I'd probably put you in the, the two to 500k bracket. Um, I like how you've already got some team of seasons in there as well. It's nice. It's it's switching it up. I would just wait until the Bundesliga team of the season. Upgrade your Royce to the team of the season Royce if you can. Uh, look for maybe a Tots Havertz. A, a Tots, I forget the guy's name. Uh, he's literally in form this week. What is his name? Brandt. Brant instead of Delaney would be pretty decent as well. Um, if you can upgrade your, your Van der Sar. I'm not the world's biggest fan of Van der Sar. If you can get somebody else in there, just a Premier League goalie, maybe an Allison, that would be way more beneficial to you because, truthfully, Allison's incredible on this game and Van der Sar just isn't. So I would look to do that. Apart from that, it's a very nice team and I'm glad that you know that I'm paid to win. So that is it for this video. If you guys did enjoy, smash the like down below. Let me know if you want another rate your teams in the comments down below. I'd love to hear your opinions on it. Seems to me like you enjoyed the last episode. It's doing really well and it still gets views to this point. So I'm very grateful. The last video actually got nearly 500 likes. So if we can match that on this video, that'd be fantastic. Really appreciate your support and I'll see you later.